The National Agency for Food and Drugs Administration and Control, NAFDAQ, says it has attained the converted Maturity Level 3 regulatory agency on the World Health Organization Global Benchmarking Program. This makes it the third country on the continent of Africa to be on this level. Director General of the agency, Mojisola Adeyaye, made the disclosure to journalists in Abuja. Kemi Balogun reports. The World Health Organization benchmarking program is a method deployed by the global body to assess the maturity level of national regulatory authorities. For Nigeria's Drug Control and Regulatory Agency, it has come a long way to get to this point on the global map. In June 2019, WHO came to NAVDAQ physically to start the benchmarking process and out of the 868 recommendations, we were able to make over 600 and we had 147 left. They told us that we have attained maturity level 3, that was 25th of February, but that this should not be announced until we see the letter. All recommendations got cleared by October 2021, making Nigeria the third country on the African continent to achieve this feat. With this, the country's capacity of vaccine manufacturing has now been heightened. Whatever we do in Nigeria today is accepted globally because of this uh, achievement that we've been able to, achieve, uh, to announce today. The government of Nigeria has supported us in terms of investing in strengthening our regulatory capacity. Without maturity level three, we will not be able to manufacture vaccine. That is the first immediate uh, benefit. benefit. Now we can manufacture our own vaccine because NAVDAQ is stronger. And we are building the vaccine lab now in Oshodi. By the middle of the year, or early third quarter, that lab will be ready. The WHO Global Benchmarking Tool maturity levels of the global medicines regulatory authorities range from one to four, with the best level being four. The regulation will be reviewed every three years by WHO, and NAVDAQ would want to attain a level four within the next couple of years. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.